I think for acute migraine treatment, we have two basically uh, novel new classes that that come into the market. In the US, they are already approved. We have um, one small molecule CGRP um, antagonist. Actually, we have we have two. Uh, one is Ubro Gpent. Uh, the other one is Remagipent, <laughs> which have which was have been approved for the acute treatment of migraines. So there are small molecules, CGRP antagonists, that can be treated for can be used for attack treatment. Uh, and we have on the other side lasmiditan, which is a serotonin 1,5-HT1F F agonist. Uh, lasmiditan is also for the acute treatment of migraine. The, 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 the property of lasmiditan is, is it's a highly, highly lipophilic molecule, which easily passes through the blood-brain barrier and, and thereby has central CNS, uh, a CNS mode of action. Uh, in addition, it blocks CGRP release. Um, so it works basically um, on the other on the other part of, of the of the migraine pathophysiology and the presynaptic the presynaptic uh, modalities on the, um, on the on actually on the presynaptic mode of actions, while the CGRP receptor antagonists most likely work on the postsynaptic um, uh, end of the of the synapse. Uh, both are um, highly effective. Uh, Lasmiditan has uh, sometimes a CNS side effects, a bit of like dizziness, uh, which which basically comes from the fact that the drug penetrates into the blood uh, brain barrier, while CGRP receptor antibodies most likely work out that the central nervous system, and therefore you don't see these uh, dizziness or fatigue in this type of of drugs. But um, but both classes are actually they help us and I actually highly welcome um, by, by the field because for a long time we had triptans, sumatriptan, rhizotriptan and others and now we can expand our portfolio of uh, acute anti-migraine drugs with the small molecule CGRP receptor antagonist as well as last militan. Okay and for prevention <laughs> Uh, sorry for prevention. I think what we what has just been approved in in in, in Europe is uh, eptinizumab. Eptinizumab is also a monoclonal antibody um, that binds to the CGRP peptide. But eptinizumab is the only CGRP monoclonal antibody that's given as an infusion intravenously. And uh, it acts over a period for three months. So you need an infusion once in a quarter of the year uh, in order to, to have migraine prevention, um, which is an, actually which is another mode of mode of application that can be helpful to patients. And then we have small molecule CGRP receptor antagonists like atogepant and remagepant, which are studied for migraine prevention and chronic migraine prevention, but we are awaiting the trials and the trial results.